What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Reem Mean, and welcome to another episode of The Life of a Game Hunter slash Collector. Uh, I know it's been a few days since we got one of these episodes up, but like I said, during the weekends when I'm out shackling, it's it's all about that. These videos will come later on. Uh, we got a few things on the agenda today. Obviously, we got to clean up the room because, you know, at the end of the pickups, it's, it's always scattered around. We got to put all this stuff up on the shelves. What I was going to do is have a full time lapse of me fixing this game gear. Story behind this thing is I sold this a few days back uh, on eBay. It's the Sports Blue Collector's Edition. It has the battery pack, everything, a few games, all that. Uh, fully refurbished, keep in mind. It's some, it's one that I refurbished like two, three years ago. And then I found a better condition one, refurbished that, and that's the one that I'm keeping. So I was going to sell this one. So I plugged it up and, and turned it on. And the thing flickered on and off. I was pissed. I didn't understand why. Maybe a capacitor came loose. Maybe one just burned out. So I was like, well, let's just do a full change out of the capacitors, and I will film that. We'll do a time lapse on it. So I did that, and then it still did the problem. And you know what the solution was? Oh, my God, I feel like such a fucking idiot. It was the aftermarket power adapter for whatever reason. I don't know why it was with it. It's not one that I would have chosen. Maybe it's, it's, it's when I got this game gear. That's what came with it. I think that that was the case. The simplest solution usually is the answer. Man, oh my god, I was pissed to find out. I did a full recap on a Game Gear for no damn reason. Uh, and it turns out it was the aftermarket adapter. Always use official ones, especially with Sega. I've noticed that with Sega Genesis and whatnot. Uh, if you use an aftermarket adapter, you can have screen problems. You can have sound problems. Just stick with official if you can. Yes, it can be more expensive if you need to order one, but it's going to pay off in the end. Uh, ooh, check out this pillow. Is that not awesome? I ordered that on eBay. It's like seven bucks. Call me a fuckhead for wanting to grow my channel, but I think that just looks cool. A lot of people commented that we need to fill some space up behind here because it, the shelf sits up a little bit higher. So you got my ugly ass here. You got this cool pillow, and you got a few things over here. So we're starting to starting to make sense. But I tell you the big news for today, and I hope you are all excited as I am for this. But check this out right here. Oh my God, look at this box. Ooh, oh boy we got the led lights they finally came in it's got its own remote because these are color changing lights i've never had color changing leds i don't know how that's going to work hopefully it works i paid 19.99 for this that was an excellent deal it was for 30 foot of led light stripping i don't know if i can modify this split you know split some wires and we're going to mess around with that i don't know how that's going to work but god damn it i'm pissed about that game gear right there it is such a i don't know why i didn't think to even check the power adapter is it's beyond me, I guess. I used to smoke way too much weed back in the day, and it just fucked my head up uh, for simple things like that. But anyways, guys, oh, we got some work to do, but let's get started. We got to clean this game room first, put all this stuff up on the shelves. All right, guys, so the room is clean. Uh, this is this is the LED package here. Like I said, I've never messed with the LEDs that are color changing, so I don't know what they're all about. Um, like I said, I paid $19.99 for this, and we got 30 foot of LED strips apparently you can connect them together or something I'm hoping that I can splice them and put them where I want if not I still can work around this so we're gonna see what we got here so obviously we got a big ass power adapter with it let's see which is good pretty good quality too the remote kinda looks stupid but at the same time it's a remote for LED lights I don't imagine that it's gonna be like crazy high tech Oh, uh, yeah, we need to get this plugged up. I want to see how this works. I got a feeling this is going to be awesome. And then there's this, which confuses me. Which I guess that's part of the, the color changing. I don't know if I can splice that. I mean, if that's just three wires here and four wires there, I'm scared to just snip it and see what's inside because I don't know if I can put it back together. Hopefully where I can splice is going to be right here. Got some resealable pack. Yeah, these are what I'm used to here. So we got two rolls. Oh yeah, that's going to be spliceable. That's what I'm talking about. Should be spliceable. Oh, I see they're like connected already. Let's hook this up and see what it looks like here. Because I don't know. Alright, this is going to plug into there. And then we're going to plug this up. Let's plug this into the wall, obviously. And then this. I don't know which end. I guess this end is what's plugged up. I don't know where this goes or what the hell that even is. 
Oh, I bet you that might be the sensor for the remote, actually. I don't know how. Let's see if it's got a battery. I hope I, oh, I see it's got a little strip. It comes with a battery, guys. $20. This is a great deal. If it works, assuming. Uh, let's see. How do I get this one? There we go. All right. No action yet. Do I got it in the wrong spot or backwards? Make sure. Let's make sure there's a battery in there and ain't trying to shit me. How do we open you without breaking it? Release. Oh, I see it kind of. There we go. Yeah, there's a battery in there. Oh, uh, come on now. I don't know what. Oh, oh, I think I got it backwards. Yep, got it backwards. Not a good start. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, that's cool. That is badass. Nice and bright, too. What's white look like? Oh, yeah. Not as bright as I would like. I'd like them a little bit brighter, but the color changing aspect, that's what's going to make it cool. Do I just pick the... Oh, I can pick the color... That is beautiful. Let me turn the lights off. We gotta see what that looks like. Oh, that's bad to the bone. I can change the color of the lights. That's 30 foot worth right there. That's pretty damn cool. Alright, I'm still a little nervous on the splicing aspect, but we're gonna... We'll see if I cut... I can still, I can run wire between them, I can just solder the wire in and we'll go over that and we're going to set this up, but let's see where we get with this. Alright, so the first spot that we're going to set up these LEDs is going to be right up here along this border. Like I said, it's going to be this whole section right here all the way across. I, since I have limited amounts so far, oops, got the camera on the tripod, I, stupid. Since I got limited amounts so far, I'm not going to do it behind the game boxes yet, but we're going to do that strip right there. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get a strip over here and then we're going to do some lighting over here because God knows this place needs it. So let's get working. Alright everybody, let me tell you what's going to happen with this. I got everything measured to cut. Now I don't think I can time lapse this. This is not something that, that's, you know, just the way it is. I can't time lapse like the creation. So it's just going to be a little, you know, before and after. So what we're going to do, where we're going to run the strips, I got 30 foot and I got enough. It's not going to be the full amount. I still think I need another 15 foot. But what we're going to do... We're going to start the LEDs right here because there's no need to put any over the door because the door typically stays open and then I can add more later. So we're going to run the strip all the way to the original Xbox box back there, you know, right up under it. It's going to be over there. And then now see, I got everything pre-cut. Like that's going to be that strip. And then we're going to start here, go all the way around, all the way up top, and we're going to end right here. Then I got another strip right here. This is going to be for the inside of this door to light all this up because I'm tired of this blackness. Uh, and then we're going to run a strip under here. And over here we're going to run a strip under there. And that's going to be good for the first bit. Now obviously in the future I'm going to be adding more. I'm going to be adding strips under here. But this is going to be a good start. I'm so excited to see how this works out. But anyways, I'm going to get my soldering gun, I'm going to get some wire, and I'm going to show you guys how we're going to hook this up. That way you can kind of learn with me if you've never done anything like this. Alright, so we're going to make our first solder here. Everything is cut to strips. Now you can see at the end, it, it even gives you like scissor marks on where you're supposed to cut. And then you got four solder points. And now I'm just going to use regular speaker wire, which is going to work fine. It's a little bit thicker gauge. Uh, but we got to do four wires for every, every time we do this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to peel this back. And that way we got access to actually solder this because it's got that big uh, like covering, that, that rubberized or plastic cover. So we got to get to the points here without messing them up. And we're going to peel this back. Oh, let me get my soldering gun on. If you've never soldered, get a soldering uh, iron right here. That's a soldering iron, not a soldering gun. The guns are huge and big. A lot of people get those confused. I'm going to put some tin on there. That way we get us a good solder plug this up that way we can get that going Ooh, shouldn't be doing this in the game room but it's the only way and I'm gonna actually have to eat this the downside of doing this is as I put each one up I'm gonna have to kind of walk the soldering gun around to solder 
to the new points, but that's okay. It's gonna it's gonna work. Uh, I'm excited about this. I hope you guys are. All right. So where was that end? I still gotta hold this up. It's gonna make things difficult. I can do it while doing both. Peel this back while that's getting warm. And I'll actually. Yeah, that just rips right off. That'll work. And then I gotta keep keep up with like, and, and they're all labeled blue, red, green, and 12 volt. Uh, so I gotta keep up with. There it goes. It's tinning. Make sure you don't drip on my new ottoman here. All right. Get off there. So we're gonna take our first wire here, and I've already pre-stripped them. I don't need much on each end. And all I'm going to do is solder each one to each point here. And we're going to do that with four wires here. So let me set this down in a way. This is going to be difficult. I already know it. I should have used smaller gauge wire, but you know what? It's going to be fine. I'm not worried about it. As long as I can get some good points. So let me get this soldered up, and we'll check back, and then we'll start hanging this stuff up. So, But anyways, I'm going to solder each one, uh, give a good strong hold, and then I'm going to... Uh, throw some tape on there to get everything nice and secure so it doesn't come back off. If I had hot glue I'd use that but I do not have any. Alright so what I'm going to do so things do not get confusing is I'm actually going to use smaller wire because these points are real small and I'm going to have four of them because you got you got to keep in mind you got your red, green, blue and 12 volt and we're going to come off just a little bit so I can attach the thicker gauge wire because I don't want these huge points right up on here because they could touch and you don't want that to happen. Uh, so we're going to do that and then we're going to secure these in so it can't come undone. So we're going to strip these, which should be easy. And then I'm going to use these post-it notes to keep track of it all. And I don't need that much to come off this. So something like this. And then, do I need it any longer? Yeah, I can do it a little longer. I ain't going to hurt nothing. So whenever it's stripped like that, it's real easy to strip wire, especially if you got a pair of good strippers. They're not that expensive. I do a lot of electrical work, so they definitely come in handy. Let's see here. So with each of them like that right there, I take my strippers, and I just want real small points on the tip of them to solder to, and then we'll get it secured and ready to hang up our first one. Alright so we got the first two wires attached, we're going to attach these and then we're going to hook up the thicker gauge wire. Uh, I did want to tell you, what a lot of people don't understand about soldering is you're not you're not heating up the solder, you're heating up the point where you're going to solder. That's, that's where a lot of people mess up and they will actually try to take the solder and melt it onto their spot that they're trying to solder. That's, that's not what you want to do. You want to heat the spot that you want to solder and then put the solder onto that spot kind of as, you, as you're putting it down. That's one of the big misconceptions right there. So let's get these last two on. These are fairly fine points. They're nothing too crazy. So it's not nothing that's too hard. Let me snip these down and we'll do the other side. I don't want too much wire exposed. I don't have to. We'll have to do a couple solders to get all these lights up, but you know what? This is going to pay off in the end. It's going to look really good. Throw a little tin on there and then just zap it one good time and let your wire just sink right into it. Make sure your wires are twisted so there's no strands that are going to touch each other. That one strand can mess you up. Oh, come on now. There we go. Alright. Now whenever you're splicing two wires together, the good thing now I gotta keep in mind, I gotta make sure you know, pay attention to where these are. But we're gonna use those post-it notes to get everything organized here and make sure that we're attaching the right ones. But you can just simply wrap two wires together like this, but we're actually gonna solder them as well and make sure that the bond is a lot stronger and then of course we're going to cover it up alright so what I'm going to do is heat the wire before I even try to put the solder on because the solder is not going to stick to something that's not hot there we go and that's just basically just welding them wires together for the most part like a nice strong bond 
And we got one, so let's finish this up and get this hung. All right, so an update. I haven't updated in a hot minute, so we got this LED strip up. These strips are a pain in the ass to hang. Only for one reason is the adhesive sucks on there, so prepare yourself to super glue the shit out of them. Other than that, they work awesome, but we got this LED strip done. We got the wire ran. Obviously, all this stuff's going to be hidden. I got this one done over here, and then we got the wires ran over here, and then we're doing the inside of all this, getting all the wiring done, and then all we got to do is wrap around here. And we're done guys and then i can demonstrate this stuff and you're going to think it's absolutely awesome but again game room's a mess now because of all this so let's get let's get finished all right guys so it is all up i'm going to clean up this room and then i'm going to showcase these lights though i'm going to hide the wires better you know super glue the spots that need to be glued like i said that's the only pain in the ass about these led lights and it's the same way with the other ones that i got that were not color changing the adhesive sucks on them uh, well, at least when it comes to wood, so there's little spots like this right here where you'll have to go back and, you know, just tap it with some glue and every now and then and just get it back up in, in good standards there. But, God, it, it's turned out good. I've turned it on already, and it looks awesome. But we got the lights ran, so let's clean up all this mess right here. It is, it's a disaster. I just cleaned it before I started this project. But, anyways, let's get it done so I can show you guys these awesome lights. All right, everybody, it is done, and it is time for the big reveal. We got a remote right here. Let's open this door. Let's check this out, and it turned out absolutely awesome. Are you ready for it? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at these lights. Oh, my goodness. Let me loop around here real quick. Now, obviously, it's not all of them because I still got more I got to set up. Uh, let me turn the lights on and kind of go over with it. Let's see. All right, so let's turn now. See, this remote is awesome because I can I can I can pick any color I want. I can I can program it however I want. Uh, the sensor for it is right here behind this Mario Kart uh, figure right here. So let's put it on basic white. So that's white right there. So we got it looped all the way around into the closet. So we now got some lighting in here, which is awesome. Not as much as I want because I still got to do one more. I think I'm going to do 30 more foot, you know, scattered around all the way up under here, uh, back, back behind that so we can illuminate back behind there. I think that'll look awesome. Oh, that's it, guys. I think it actually, it turned out great. I mean, some of these colors that you can play with, they just look so good. Oh, I'm over here, like, trying to press where I want the color. Let's see. Let's try, let's try purple. That just looks awesome the way that did, man. I can't believe the results. I, I, I don't know why I never went with uh color changing lights before this is just too cool 20 bucks guys it is not hard at all and look at these results look how we got for the super nintendo and then we got it down here with the atari and all this oh let's try let's try some colors here look at that tell me if that just ain't pimping right there oh my goodness it's not hard now there's still some spots that i gotta touch up some spots that i gotta hide when i'm a man i am i am good with this oh let's get on oh come on now we gotta have you on if we're gonna have all this on. Oh yeah. Oh well, shit. Now you know this means we got a new, uh, we got a new game room tour coming up, as well as I gotta fix my intro. So once we get that, we will be good to go. I can't wait to get one more strip in, uh, but I think we're good for for a uh, room tour now. So it'll be coming up soon. I got one more box of stuff to go through, and I think we can do it, guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And maybe you learned a thing or two about LED strips. They are not hard at all. You just got to have a little bit of ingenuity uh, and be able to cuss a lot because I know I did. And I will say one thing. Let me get you back on white here. Turn the lights back on. Never set your soldering gun on a pan on your ottoman because this shit's going to happen. The brand new son of a bitch. Nah, what can you do? Uh, no matter what project I do, there's always some sort of loss. But at least the loss wasn't that big. But guys, I want you to take care and enjoy the rest of your day.